It's amazing how far we've come in 200 years, just three human lifetimes, from the beginning of industrialism until now. But where are we headed? We can't keep dumping carbon into the atmosphere. We can't keep ruining topsoil. We can't keep growing population and consumption or basing our economy on depleting fossil fuels. How did we get here? In 1859, Edwin Drake drills the first rock oil well in Pennsylvania, and Carl Daimler builds an automobile that runs on petroleum. Coal, tar, and oil are turned into industrial chemicals and pharmaceuticals that prolong life. The Wright brothers start oil-fueled aviation. Fritz Haber and Carl Bosch make fertilizers from fossil fuels. Fertilizer and oil-powered tractors expand food production, feeding more people. In the 70s, there's an oil shock, and everyone is shocked to learn how dependent they are on oil. With the energy crisis, the environmental movement is born, but oil prices fall, and everyone forgets energy shortages. Fast forward to today. China is now burning half the world's coal to make export products, but where will China get more coal and oil to fuel more growth? Environmental problems everywhere, Rising CO2 levels lead to record heat waves, floods, droughts, oceans acidify, topsoil erodes by 25 billion tons a year from industrial agriculture, ancient forests disappear, species go extinct at a thousand times normal rates, fresh water is scarce or polluted, oil companies drill in miles of seawater because the easy oil is gone. Where do we go from here? It's not the end of the world, but we have to do three things fast. Learn to live without fossil fuels. Support 7 billion humans and stabilize populations at a sustainable level. And deal with our legacy of environmental destruction. In short, we have to live within nature's budget of renewable resources at rates of natural replenishment. Can we do it? We have no choice. If we do nothing, we still get to a post-carbon future, but it will be bleak. However, if we plan the transition, we can have a world that supports robust communities of healthy, creative people and ecosystems with millions of other species. Smarter use of natural resources is no longer a luxury. It is a need. The time has come to harness our technological achievements and enable real, meaningful bioindustrialization.